Let's see how to integrate and to solve equations in MATLAB. And of course, we're talking now about symbolic math, not using numerical methods. So as usual, we'll start by clearing the screen. So anything that uh, is on our command window at the start will get cleared off, and we'll clear all our variables. Now, when we're doing symbolic math, we want to uh, tell MATLAB what variables are going to be purely symbolic. And so we're going to do something with ideal gas law. So we'll do PV, uh, N, R, and T as symbolic variables. And we're going to give an equation here where we define the ideal gas law. Now we have to be careful here because, of course, variables are all case sensitive. So since I use lowercase, except for r and t at the start, I have to use lowercase here. So we're going to multiply p times v and say that that product is equal to nRT. Okay, now we have to be a little bit careful when we define an equation like this. If we want to actually manipulate an equation, we want to use the double equals. And that tells MATLAB that this is an equation that we can, this is not a variable assignment, this is actually an equation that we can manipulate. So we're, we've defined that equation as the ideal gas law. Okay, great. All right, so let's solve our equation for a pressure. And so we're going to come up with a uh, something where we're going to assign values to it. We'll call it P-ideal. And we're going to say that we want P-ideal to be the result of solving our ideal gas law for P. OK, so what this says is solve the ideal gas law for P and stick the results into something called P-ideal. Now imagine we want to use this to calculate work. We could do this by taking an integral uh, from one volume to another. So once we have P-ideal, we could integrate it to calculate the work. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's say that the work is equal to the integral of p ideal. So our solved, we already solved this for p. And we're going to integrate it with respect to v. And let's go from, say, uh, maybe 2. Um, 2 liters to 7 liters for our volume. Great. Okay, so we can see that it solved the ideal gas law for pressure, and then it actually came up with a symbolic expression for work. But what if we actually wanted to get a number for what the work would be? And, well, first of all, we'd have to put it sign change in here because work is the negative integral of this. And we have to put some numbers in. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some numbers in. And we'd have to tell it, we can see that we, we have symbolic values for R and T, so we'd have to put those in. Okay, so we have to put numbers in for our, our values for R and T. So first of all, we have to say what things we want to substitute in and where we're substituting them. 
And we also have to say, uh, but choose the correct uh, values to substitute in. So first of all, we want to substitute into work. And since we have more than one value, we're going to say we have a list of values we want to substitute in. We want to substitute in R and T. And we also need to tell you how many moles of gas we have. Let's put that in there. And then in the same order, we put in the list of values that we're going to substitute in. So R, we want to get work in joules, so let's put R in joules per mole per Kelvin. And we want to, uh, let's see, we've got a temperature here. We said would be, let's do this at 298 Kelvins. And let's do it for three moles of gas. So it probably would be helpful to have a little comment here saying what we're doing. Okay, so we want to calculate the work when we let the gas expand from to 27 liters. And we're going to do it at 298, and we're going to get our, our answer in joules. Great. So we went ahead and did the substitution. And when you run it, you think you'd get an answer. And you sort of do. But you can see it's an answer, but it's really not the answer you wanted. And the reason for this is if MATLAB does an irrational number, it's just going to give you the, the ratio. It's not going to actually do an approximation. It thinks you want an exact answer. So if you want just an approximation, a decimal approximation, you have to tell it. But note also that, that uh, this integral we took, of course, when we solve this, we get dv over v for our work. And we take that integral, we get a natural logarithm, which in MATLAB is just log. OK, so we want a decimal approximation. So the way to do that is to say you want a double precision number number of your result. So we can just say double our answer. And what that's going to do is take this last value it generated and put it into a decimal approximation. OK, so we can see we, we can extract 9 kilojoules of work when we let 3 moles of gas expand from 2 liters up to seven at room temperature.